Morning kids. I'm sure you can see very plainly that I'm holding a nice green apple in my hands. And I'm sure a lot of you like apples. I love them. I love to eat them with things like peanut butter. Now, do you know how many parts or main parts an apple has? Really, you could say it has three parts. It has the skin on the outside. Hmm, but what's in the middle? You probably all know. You have then the meat, the part you eat, and then the core that runs through the middle. And the stem is part of that core, and that's where you find the seeds. That's where the blossom was to make, ooh, that smells good, a nice tasty apple. Now, I'm using an apple today because this weekend we celebrate what we call Trinity Sunday. And Trinity is a word that means three, one, two, three, in one three in one. And we use that word to talk about our God. Our God is just one God, but he's three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But not three gods, just one God. I know that sounds a little confusing, doesn't it? But that's why I'm using the example of an apple. It's just one apple, isn't it? But it has three parts. The skin, the meat, the fruit part that you eat, and then the core. Now, this doesn't do the best job to tell us what God is like because you can't say that God is this part, the Holy Spirit, and this part, the, the Son, and this part, the skin, God the Father. They're all God. But it helps us understand just a little bit the idea of Trinity. Three, one, two, three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in one God. Now, sometimes that's hard for us to understand. It sounds a little silly even, but that's just how big and amazing and wonderful our God is. And that sometimes he's hard for us to understand. But what isn't hard for us to understand is what our triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit does for us. Our God has created us our God has saved us, and God the Son being our Savior, washing away all of our sins, and God the Holy Spirit, he has worked the gift of God's faith in our hearts so that we could believe in him as the one and only true God, who's also three persons, like this apple. One apple, but three parts, three main parts, skin, flesh, core. God, the one true God, he's three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and yet one God who loves us, forgives us, and has given us an eternal home in heaven. So the next time you eat an apple, remember it helps you understand who our God is. That he's the true God with three persons.